Are you in the market for a home in or around Mountain House? Do you want a knowledgeable realtor that specializes in Mountain House homes? If so, then look no further. Drew Jacobson of the Mountain House Real Estate Group is your man. Drew says it best. We treat every client's purchase or sale as if it were our own. Your success is our success. Drew Jacobson, your Mountain House Realtor. Good evening. Uh, my name is Kirk Nicholas. I'm the uh, district superintendent here at Lambertville Unified School District. And it's my honor to be the host this, uh, this evening and welcome you to uh, what is an absolutely beautiful K-8 school facility. So welcome to our grand opening. Before we begin with our speakers, I would like to acknowledge, uh, to begin with, our visionary uh, leaders of our district, our governing school board, and if I could have them stand as their names are called, and we can honor them, uh, Mr. Shane Nielsen. This is Ms. Sarah Vergara. Ms. Sharon Lompel. Mr. Matt Balzarini. And our board president, Mr. David Pombo. I'd also uh, like to acknowledge a couple of gentlemen standing in the back who aren't on stage with us. Uh, Mr. Harry Smith of Turner Construction, who led the, the project, and all the soldiers who put this beautiful facility together. Give a wave out there, Harry. Williams, who is a uh, oversight uh, person who makes sure that all the rules are followed and the schools built to the standards of the state and uh, make sure the children are safe in the facilities that they attend. So Mr. Don Williams. <laughs> Finally, and when they make the movie about the, uh, the last five years of this school district, it's going to start with a uh, New York Times article that wrote about Mountain House, California being the most underwater city in America. And uh, we actually asked the gentleman to come back out and see how we're doing right now. Uh, because uh, the housing the recovery in the state of California is happening right here in our community. And this school and the high school that we opened uh, last weekend are representative of the community spirit and the, the belief that we have in our, our own selves and the ability to deliver excellence. So what I'd like to do is tell you a little bit about the story that led to this school being built. Um, there are two stories when the movie is made, as I started to say, uh, about how a high school got funded and how a K-8 elementary school that they said couldn't be built got funded and built. And in fact, the funding that came in for that facility was above and beyond what was supposed to be funded because the hard work the diligence of the school superintendent, Mr. Dale Hansen, who is here in the audience. So the movie starts with the community is being challenged, and leaders like our school board, like some of our speakers here, like our, our former stu our school superintendent, um, they fought for the cause. They fought for the kids. They fought for the community. So the movie ends with this. A K-8 school opens and the children in that neighborhood go there and they get educated at the highest performing school district in the county. They get prepared to be college and career ready to attend the best high school in the state of California, Mountain House High School. Some of them play baseball on Dell H. Hansen Field and win the first baseball championship in the history of the school only to tell their children when their kids grow up in this beautiful community that they were there when it happened first. So ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to be your host tonight to open this beautiful school facility, Altamont Elementary School. Our first speaker this evening is our board president, Mr. David Tombo. Good evening and welcome. I'm sure a lot of you thought this school would ever be built. It's here, we're here. 
I won't say too much. I just, when you guys are out there walking around this beautiful campus, just realize that it was worth the wait. Thank you. We have two representatives from our state government, uh, one representing Assemblymember Edmund, and the second representing Senator Galgiani, and we're asking that they come up forward and speak now. and your assembly member, Assembly Member Susan Calamantes Edmund, who would like to present Altamont Elementary School with a certificate of recognition. You know, you guys could say that you were lucky, but this isn't about luck. This is about dedication and foresight and will. But now it's about you. So you have a big, beautiful school. Now we need all of you to participate in the formation of your PTA that I saw the signs up for, and more importantly, keeping your school together through your spirit. And so I congratulate you on this great adventure that you're about to embark on, and make your kids as proud as you are of them. Thank you. Uh, we have a, a San Joaquin County Supervisor uh, intended to be here, Mr. Bob Elliott. If he, if he comes in, uh, we'll have, have him speak a few words. But uh, now I'll introduce the uh, architect, the lead architect on the project, uh, Mr. Wesley King. Thank you, sir. Um, I'm not a podium person, so I have to wander, so yeah. pardon that. Um, I want to first say thanks to district for allowing us to do this beautiful project for them and their continued focus on the students and the needs of the students. Um, secondly, I wanted to thank um, Mr. Harry Smith and the rest of Turner Construction for the quality that you see here. It's just an amazing, amazing place. But I also want to thank, um, you know, Kirk introduced me as the lead architect that's only partly true, you know. I have a whole team of people that work with me to make buildings like this and campuses like this come to, to fruition. And on this project, the main person that made that a reality is Steve Merck. So keep it, keep it. Step forward on behalf. Thank you. It's the efforts of Steve and of Turner and everyone in our firm and and the, the gifts that the district give us in terms of being able to work on these projects that make these a reality for you, your children, and future generations to come. So we very much appreciate it and appreciate you having us here tonight. Thank you. It is now my proud honor to introduce the first principal of Altamont Elementary School, Mr. James Yeager. Welcome, everybody. It is with the most sincere, heartfelt pleasure and excitement that I stand before you this evening. This is an historic period in the time for the Mountain House community. Less than two weeks ago, we celebrated the grand opening of Mountain House High School. Now, tonight, we're gathered at another grand opening to celebrate the birth of Altamont Elementary School. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Panther Country. The opening of Altamont Elementary School along with Mount House High School is a testament to the character and resolve of the Mount House community. The strength steadfastness and perseverance that has been demonstrated by this community in the face of challenge and adversity is very inspiring and I feel very honored to be a part of it. It is also the reason we have the privilege to come together this evening at such a beautiful new school. Mountain House is a community also
them that has high expectations for their schools. And that's a good thing. Altamont Elementary School will set high expectations and work diligently to meet them. We plan to create a rigorous, student-centered instructional program. Student-centered instructional program focused on the 21st century learning skills, common core state standards, and STEM education. Promoting high levels of student achievement will academically and socially will be the light that guides our work at Altamont Elementary School. I've had the opportunity to work with our teachers, parents, and district leaders, and I've been highly impressed and inspired by their passion, knowledge, dedication, and teamwork. I haven't had the opportunity to work with our students yet. However, I've heard nothing but wonderful things about them from the educators who have worked with them. I caught a glimpse of this when we established our PTA at our parent meeting several nights ago. Prior to the meeting, one of our students noticed that I was carrying many items. She approached me. She approached me and immediately offered her assistance. During the meeting, when I mentioned how happy I was to see some of our students there, the same young lady raised her thumb high in the air. Then as soon as the meeting ended, before I even had the chance to pack up, she was standing right beside me asking if I needed help. As we embark upon this journey, I'd like to thank some people who've helped to make this possible. I want to thank Turner Construction for the wonderful job they've done constructing this amazing school. From our district, I'd like to thank Mr. James Nolan, Mrs. Alvina Kaiser, and Noel Balzarini for the good work they've done toward Altamont's construction. I'd also like to thank our board members, Mr. Matthew Balzarini, Mr. David Combo, Mr. Sharon Lam Mrs. Sharon Lampel, excuse me, Mr. Shane Nielsen, and Mrs. Michaela Vergara for their ongoing hard work to support Lammersville Unified's continued growth and achievement. Our former superintendent, Dale Hansen, also deserves acknowledgement for setting us on the course that we continue to follow. And finally, I'd like to thank our superintendent, Dr. Nicholas, and our assistant superintendent, Dr. Kushwinder Gill, for their tireless work toward ensuring the success of Lammersville Unified in the present and into the future. Dr. Nicholas and Dr. Gill are bold, highly talented 21st century visionaries, and we are very fortunate to have them leading our district. It's reassuring and exciting to know that there's a strong team assembled and continuing to assemble around the work we have here at Altamont Elementary. We're still looking for team members, so if you haven't joined us already, I invite you to do so. Altamont parents, please make sure that you've connected with representatives from our PTA who are here this evening. The table's right there. Love to see the artwork from the children already gracing our walls. That's wonderful. They are anxious to meet you. If you're not an Altamont parent but are interested in helping us, I'm sure our PTA will be able to think of opportunities for you to contribute. Maximizing the potential of Altamont Elementary School will require a total team effort from all of our vested stakeholders. Through Altamont teamwork, we will make the dreams of our children work. So tonight, we begin our journey. Tonight, we fly the purple and gold. Tonight, we stare at Altamont's bright future. And the hopeful flame doesn't grow cold. Tonight, we're smiling with joy. Tonight, we're hitting our stride. Tonight, we are the Altamont Panthers and we're beaming with Panther pride. So if you're feeling the way I'm feeling, and you can feel that feelings and awe, join together with me, everybody, and raise your Panther paw. All right, that's what I like to see. 
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to serve you. So that concludes this portion of our, our evening, but the most exciting is yet to come. Um, we're going to ask that everybody filter out to the left. Um, we are going to have the official ribbon cutting ceremony by our, our governing board. And then we've uh, set up a series of signs that have um, that look like this around the campus so that you can walk. And I've been told these are the specific directions that the uh, C-Wing and the E-Wing classrooms are available for everyone to walk through, the library, the admin room, um, and the multi-purpose room. So that we've set it up so we can kind of have a track, and when you finish your tour, you should be in the library walking out the, to the front parking lot and on off into the, into the night. So the goal is to walk it in an orderly manner. We'll see how good we do with our signs. We can walk out here. Uh, we're gonna do the ribbon cutting out here to the left by the admin room.